I'm a small artist and I'm pro AI art and I'm against it. I sound like a hypocrite, but you're out, okay? Um, although there is being controversy around AI art, has been crazy. From artists' work uh, being used as data to learn the AI algorithms without their approval, their work getting stolen, and uh, artists being attacked by internet users as being too sensitive to the subject. But even after mentioning some serious pointers, for me as an artist to still be pro AI art, why? AI art isn't artificial intelligence at all. It really is an image generator, meaning that humans need to feed data to this algorithm in order for the AI to create an artwork or image based of billions uh, of images in its database, breaking them apart and recreating a new artwork. It sticks to image basically. What is the problem that majority of artists have against this? It is their style, their art that are used to build the AI algorithm uh, without their consent and they feel viola violated of the rights of ownership. Ownership. Sam Yan from Sam Does Art is an unfortunate example of his stylist work that has been used and fed into uh, these programs without his permission. And people started posting AI generated art in his style on Twitter and some even saying it was their own work. And when Sam said something about this, he got backlash. I, I highly recommend that you check out uh, the video why artists are fed up with AI art on Sam's YouTube channel. But the problem doesn't come just from the generator. It comes from the user that thinks they can ride on the back of artist's success and get away with that. And unfortunately, that is what happened to uh, this Twitch stream artist. So in, in another instance of art theft using AI, artist at was live stream drawing Jensen Impact fan art for a, a, art on Twitch um, and one of the streams Vim's viewers took the unfinished work and finished it using AI then posted it on Twitter as a finished work as if it was their own. What's worse when Ad finally posted their original art uh, the person demanded they get credited. Can you believe that? Yeah so who was to blame there? It was the viewer that took unethical advantage against an artist. It was not AI's fault. Because it is merely a tool, and if, if unethical users use it, we will see unethical results. With all said and done, uh, we shouldn't really stress too much about this. Artists, relax everything will be fine. AI will not replace our work until it can think and act on its own. We are fine, okay? Yes, there are shortcomings to this. But again, artists don't stress too much and don't be against AI-generated art either. Although these are major problems, there are just as many opportunities to this. You as an artist, can make use of it and create new works of art that you were not able to have created uh, beforehand. And for one, I think that's fantastic. It is just another terrific tool to add to our digital tool. It's not all bad news. Here are two great examples of artists that have successfully used AI to create their own unique works of art. So Necro on Twitter who creates these beautiful complex art pieces using photo bashing. Necro embraces AI in an amazing fashion, generating their own assets to photo bash their pieces, to photo bash their pieces together. Another example is Jason M. Pueblo, uh, Pueblo 
uh, that entered his AI generated artwork called Theater the Opera Special uh, into the Colorado State Fish annual art competition in 2022 and ended up walking away with the blue ribbon for emerging digital artists. And while we're at it, I too used Midjourney to help me create an artwork. I ended up using it, however, as a reference sheet for myself uh, to determine how I wanted to create this character uh, inspired by the snow leopard. So the opportunities are there, my fellow artists. But the fact still remains that artists are being taken advantage of. However, as it currently stands, a group of artists have set uh, in motion a class, action, a class action copyright lawsuit against popular AI companies. In my opinion, with time, regulations will be set on AI as it was with 3D printing back then. In part two of this AI madness, I'll be having a discussion with my friend Christian Stein from Stein IP, a copyright and IP lawyer, about the legal aspects of AI generated art and what we as artists should know. So don't miss that out. In the end, Realize this, AI art is the next evolution of creating art since photography was invented in 1839. AI art is the evolution of digital art as was the digital art the evolution of traditional art and photography the evolution of portraiture. It is a new era of art instead of being stubborn and unwilling to adapt, or to embrace and learn the new tool that has been. As always, stay safe, be creative, be yourself, uh, it's route.